Brendan, first of all, earlier this summer you said Mario Balotelli won't be joining Liverpool. Why has that stance changed? Then I can categorically tell you that I can't speak about it <laughs> <laughs> or anything until the players say. Where we at with it then? Can you say where we're at with it? No. Okay. No. If we say to anyone, I will speak at length about them, but until then, I can't say anything. I just wondered, can we ask about the code of conduct though? Is that standard or is it a special case for, for this particular sign? Code of conduct, as in, I think every club will have a, a code of conduct for the people and, and the professionals that work. You know, we've got quite an extensive code of conduct for players and staff here, so, um, so there's no specific one for any one individual. It, it covers across the professional group of people here, both staff and players. Is that therefore trying to keep the balance within your dressing room, make sure that the atmosphere within that dressing room is protected? We've got a fantastic environment here and a great culture and I think that over the last two years it's something that was very important for us to create and build here. So, uh, and there'll be nothing that will ever shake that or as I said, provoke it in any way. So, uh, and that's something that I've always protected at the club. So, um, as I said, the, the environment here is, is fantastic. We've got a real learning environment here for players. And, uh, and as you've seen over a couple of years, we've lots of players have improved and developed. So, uh, so that will continue. If and when a deal for Mario is concluded, will that be your last piece of business? Do you think, or are you still in the market for more? No, it will just. We will just look at what we need right through to the end of August. Uh, we don't have too much to do, to be honest. Um, we, we've done the bulk of our work. There's a lot of a great work went on early on in the pre-season, but uh, we've always said we were, we were looking for another striker. Um, so uh, if we can do a deal, then in the market the way it is, it makes it very, very difficult. But as I said, we can do a deal for for any more players, then that's certainly something that we'll do. So, uh, but. Coming the end of August, I'm sure I'll be really happy with the, the team and the squad that I have. With that in mind as well, then, how important is this one game in, in terms of the title race? Well, it's an important fixture for us. I think that we had a couple of great games against Manchester City last, last season, and, and of course they are the champions. So, uh, I don't think it, I don't think it will define everything. I think that it's over the course of the 38 games. You know, we done reasonably well in the big games last season, but. It's over the course of the 38, so and that's something that I'll always look at. You know, we we we've gone there in the last two seasons since I've been there. We've performed very well, uh, and that will be the, the same idea going into this game to perform. Look, it's early season and we started with a great win, but to go and perform and, and hopefully get the result is what the aim will be. Um, um, could somebody coming in have a knock-on effect on perhaps going out from the club as well? I think we have a number of players that will probably look and see where their opportunities will lie. I think every player that's here now is clear in terms of where I would see them in the squad or not in the squad. So every player understands exactly where they where they stand here at Liverpool. And as I said, we'll see between now and the end of August if, if the opportunity comes for players to move on if they want to do that. And you've talked of the tight knit team that you've already got. You must therefore have confidence that anybody coming in would be able to fit in rather than disrupting that team? Complete confidence. I think every player that we assess and, and look at, of course, character is, is very, very important. Um, so no player would, would come into here if, as I said, if I felt that it couldn't work. I always look at people as well. It's not just on the coaching element. I look at people and I, I think if I can help the person, then it's something that I will look at. And I think if you... You know, you've assessed my coaching career from when I was a youth coach. It's all I've ever done. People who know me well will tell you that I develop, I look to try and develop the player and the person. And, uh, and that's something that's always very, very important to me. So, uh, and if I feel that someone cares enough, I will give them everything. And thankfully we have a culture here, like I said, that creates the talents and, and obviously gives them the, the opportunity to blossom. And... I think I've shown before that nothing will ever ever stand in the way of that, no matter how good or bad the player is. That uh, as long as they show they care and they want to learn and want to develop, we can give them the opportunity. As far as this game against Manchester City is concerned, obviously the top two teams.
from last season. Is it almost a shame that you're not up to full throttle yet with this one, or is it a good way to get the Premier League sort of sparked up to life straight away? Well, I think it's been a great start to the, the league campaign. I think that all the teams, as I said, it was a, some excellent games last weekend, and, and certainly for us, we were we were absolutely delighted to, to start with a win. Um, I was very, very pleased and very happy that we won the game. Of course, we will perform better, and, and that fluidity will get better as the season goes on. You know, you have to understand that a lot of players are coming back late. Um, but whatever time the game comes, it's always very, very important. And for us, so early on, it's even, as I said, it's even more significant. So for us, we know it's going to be a tough game. There have been really close games with Manchester City. And we'll go to there and play how we've played before with no fear and we go and look to attack the game. And just one last one, if I may, injury-wise, how's everybody looking? Yeah, we've uh, the players are, Markovic will come into the squad. He's been excellent in training, he's worked very hard to come back. Adam Lallana uh, is on the latter stages of his sort of rehabilitation, so he'll join the group. He obviously won't be in the, the squad for, Is he doing ball work? for yeah, Monday. Ball work. Yes, yeah, he's been... He's been with our conditioning coaches, so he, he'll train with the team uh, on Sunday. So uh, so he's looking in, in great condition, and we just got to get him up to sort of match speed, really. Uh, Jose Enrique, will see how Jose goes, but uh, and obviously Daniel Agger still out. So, but apart from that, the, the squad is healthy and, and looking very good. John Flanagan, still. John's still a wee bit of a time off as well. And that's AED still. Big yeah, still. Yeah. Thank you. Brendan, what do you think the game against Manchester City will be a much cagey affair because it's so early on in the season, only the second game of the Premier League season between yourselves? I don't think so. I think the nature of both teams is, you know, is the offensive game. Um, but of course, they're, they're normally tight game. So uh, I think if you look at both sets of players, you know, lots of invention, lots of creativity in the team. Um, so uh, I think that that both teams will be creative and, and, and want to score goals. So uh, I think it's the nature. You know, for us, we know we need to be compact, we need to be solid when we haven't got the ball, we need to be aggressive and press well. That's the nature of our game. But we know we have that freedom and that you know, movement and pace in the team that, that can hurt teams. So, uh, so for us, we understand that it's early on, but it'll be a good game for sure. And when you talk about developing players and wanting to help players and the character of, the, of your squad. What, what is the ideal character for, for a Liverpool player? What type of personality person would that player be? I don't think there's players and people come in all different shapes and sizes and, and different traits. You know, I think if you, you can't throw a blanket over everyone. You know, I think what, all I can say is that this period of of where I'm at and, and building the club. You know, we were looking to bring in a player that we felt was a risk. Two years ago, I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it, you know, because the environment wasn't created. I think what we have here now is, is a culture of, of performance, of people working very, very hard, of an infrastructure that's set up to allow players to, to flourish. And if you come into that and you're not that way and not that character, uh, then it would be really, really difficult for you. So you, you've got to weigh up when you bring in the players. But certainly what you have is this is a club that's is different to, to most. You know, this isn't like many clubs. Liverpool is a club that's a real strong family football club with, with values and ethics that run over many years. And I, as the manager of the club here, will, will fight to protect those always. So no matter the player or the professional at the club, they will abide by that, and that's something that is important. But we understand that sometimes you, you have to take a risk with people, and and normally, and a lot of the time, if you take that risk, you can get a reward for it. Given team spirit last season, Brendan was was such a, a big part of what you did. When you bring in eight players and potentially nine, how do you preserve that team spirit? And I guess involve the, the incoming players into that? I think they've all fit in very well. I think, it, of course, it's, it helps when you bring in the certain type of character. You know, all the guys that have come in are very, very grounded, 
very humble and, and they want to work. So they've come in and, as I said, it's been quite a smooth transition for them. I think the, the atmosphere and the ambience around the, the team is, is very, very good. But that's something that you foster, it's something that you, you work at, it's not something that just happens. And that's something as the manager that you have to lead on. So, uh, so for us here, it's been a, you know, it's been a, a key, key marker for us when people look at the, the team as well as the qualities. Our, our team spirit is very strong, and, and it's something that got us through the game last weekend. You know, that character, that resilience, that spirit. You know, maybe early on, it, it, you didn't really see that, but I think you see that in the team that if we're not playing so well, we still want to fight, we still want to work, and you'll do that when the team is close and the squad is close. Uh, and ultimately that will get you results. And presumably in transfer windows, this is when your scouting network comes to the fore. Have you had to do much work in terms of how that works since you arrived at the club? Yeah, but it's something that we had to create when we came in two years ago. When, and as each day has gone on, that has become really strong. We work very closely together. And it's not easy because the, there's a very small group of players that are are there and then the market is, is obviously there for for us but it, it can be difficult but uh, there's been a lot of great works going on here over the course of this last season the players that we're bringing in they haven't just been uh, plucked out of the sky you know they've been monitored and watched and, uh, and we've obviously spoken to most and they they agree that they want to come into an ambitious club and hungry to, to do well here so uh, so as i said a bit a lot of activity over the the, the off season, but um, but as I said, we'll probably see this as our biggest window for a couple of years. Okay. Uh, Brendan, I'm obviously uh, our first ever only making his debut on Monday, and can you speak a little bit about what he brings to the team when he does come? Well, he'll be in the squad. He, he obviously comes in fit. Um, he's a young player that is very dynamic going forward. He gives us the balance. You know, he's, he's got a great left foot. Passes it well, sees the pass early, um, gets forward on the outside, can penetrate on the inside. Um, as I said, he's, he's very hungry and keen to learn. A good experience. He comes in as a winner. You know, he won the, as I said, the Europa League last year. So he's, you know, he comes in with a, a good mentality. And as I said, at the age he's 22, and he's still got a lot of development in him. So, uh, so he'll, he'll pick up the pace very quickly. As I said, he comes in as a regular. Starter and so I expect him to come in and over the coming years show he's a real attacking player and they'll fit Liverpool perfectly.